Hi, I'm Viliana Kay, and uh, I'm here promoting my company. So, uh, how's it been, the show? Great. Great event, great attendance, great people, a lot of contacts. Silicon Valley, in short. You like ID Tech X? Yes, I love ID Tech X. Why? It's the right place to be, connecting emerging technologies. What can I say? I'm emerging, so... <laughs> You're emerging out of what? Emerging out of a concept, a great concept, putting art and technology together. Art and technology is the future, right? Because you don't want just technology by itself, it's boring. And you don't want art by itself, it's boring too. <laughs> yeah, because art is always, is always catching the latest trends. Latest trend is technology. You can't have art without technology. Yes, and what is so fundamental about art that it can bring an unknown dimension to technology, human dimension. Human? Yes. Data as artwork, humanizing data. Human-centered data. This is basically the concept and the initiative of my company. And uh, I termed it as a connected art, where human, digital, and physical experience come together. So you want to uh, do what to the human? What are you talking about with the human? It's about data and how we can humanize data, from data analytics to human-centered data. So and how you can use it to build an artwork, literary, not metaphorically. And uh, have you been able to talk with people about this at the show? Yes, and uh, uh, they're receptive in a different ways, in a different manners, but everybody understands that being able to to pinpoint value out of data as an artistic entity, it's a really something to be followed and really something to be to talk, to talk about it and to think about it. And I'm here to, to, really, to really show the process of how this is actually done. So what, do you, what kind of conversations do you have? Is this is the Silicon Valley? Silicon Valley is a lot of tech stuff, right? So uh, what, what, is a, what can you talk about here in the Silicon Valley? Silicon Valley, I'm talking about how you can get an unknown dimension as a value, as an investment out of data, as an artwork. Meaning that the technical entity which data is, what happens when you add an artistic value to it? You add value, unknown value, and I'm promoting exactly that concept. And people are interesting to how to, to monetize data in a new way. They're, 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 they're ready to give it a shot. And they're listening to me. So, uh, do you have some uh, concrete examples of stuff you've done in the last six months? What, what have you been doing the last six months? Well, I have developing tangible objects because it looks, it, it is much easier for people to understand that actually I have a product. The product is the artwork. So I'm developing my company with the, the other way around. Normally, you raise funds in order to create a prototype. I already have the original artwork. I raise funds in order to create an environment where I can promote that concept to, 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 to everybody and transform personal data of everybody into artwork. Do, do you need to hire engineers to do some algos or...? I will, I will build my software, but the software is simply a structure that allows me, the artist, to handle the data. What happens to the data is what I do with it. And this is where the magic is. And once the pattern is published, in our next interview, I can give you much more details about it. So you talk about the next interview. Uh, how soon is the next interview? Uh, why not uh, Berlin uh, 2019? So you're planning to go to Berlin? I'm looking forward. And do you live in Geneva? Yes. So what's going on in Geneva? Uh, me. <laughs> you? <laughs> and the, the, there's also the fountain. Uh, the fountain is still there and I love yeah. it. Yes. And me the and the old, fountain. The old uh, cathedral? The cathedral divine, always there. Old town, it's yes. beautiful. Yes, yes. And the Patek Philippe uh, Museum, I love it. Uh, oh my okay. God! You haven't been there. No. <laughs> you have to check it out. I'm not into watches. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right. So, do you have any colleagues in Geneva? I I have colleagues all over the world. 
Switzerland, uh, in different countries in Europe, especially in New York. And I'm looking forward to create some uh, relationships in Silicon Valley. So, uh, what's going on in New York? In New York, yeah. uh, I was I was giving a, an opportunity to 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 show in a very very alternative non-profit space downtown New York. For first time, an, an artistic entity gave me the possibility to show my artwork product and the concept of turning data into art. In New York? Yeah. Recently? Yeah, uh, 2018, April. In April? Yeah. Uh, so what's been the reception and uh, what... Uh, is it like a gallery? Like an exhibition? Non-for-profit. It's really a, an amazing intellectual uh, space. Uh, it's called White Box NYC. And uh, it was for the first time that uh, uh, in the art world, uh, this concept of data becoming an art uh, was <laughs> talked about, was exhibited. Is it going to be in the form of uh, 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 software, in the form of pictures, no, video? No, in the form of artwork. Softwares uh, and algorithms don't make art. So in the form of an artwork, it could be digital no and about what digital object is. and physical object. And other artists are allowed? Nope. 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 It's your art. It's me. It's you. No, I'm alone. Let's put it that way. As simple as this. Yeah. <laughs> Lonely bird. Because <laughs> uh, artists, they don't want to share. They just want to be uh, showing all their stuff, right? Like, for example, Picasso doesn't want to work with Matisse. They're two no, different artists. No, 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 you're totally wrong. Collaboration is very important. Collaboration has always existed. But uh, uh, artwork is an artwork. And uh, in my case, it's done by me. In other cases, it can be a collaborative effort. And you never know, one day I might do as well. So, uh, right now, it's a little bit smoky in the area, but what's your plan? Are you going to do something more in the Silicon Valley? Yes. What's, what are you doing? Meetings. Meetings? Yep, looking forward. All right. And then what? And then going back to Europe to work. You have to work. All right. <laughs> Publishing my patent in, uh, in two, three weeks, the final text for it. So after that, uh, I can uh, uh, clearly talk about uh, the process of how you turn data into artwork. It's a patent? Yep. Well, you can't talk about it then? No. Patents have to be secret until they're patent. Until they're published. After that, they're not secret. They're public. And that's the whole advantage of it. You so can talk about it and you can show it to the public. So there's a good chance you can have your patent before we do the next video? Yes. 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 Sure. All right. Cool. But it was very nice to, to see you at this Always conference. Always great talking to you, Charvox. And I saw you were busy at the, the booth. Yes. It was busy. Active. Okay. <laughs>